Hi, this is Kurt Benek, editor with 4constructionpros.com. We're here with John Rupert. Hi, Kurt. How are you doing? Great. Uh, John is the um, general manager of sales and marketing for Ford Commercial. Right. John, you guys are coming off a really excellent 2015 and headed into 2016. Can you tell me a little bit about your sales, your sales with 2016? Yeah, so um, uh, it's a healthy industry and we're growing. So anytime mm -hmm. that you've got an industry that's growing and you're gaining market share, it's really uh, the best of both worlds. The market was up about 8.5% and, and our share grew from about 43% to 45% last year. Um, and it really was on the backs of the, the full-size van products and, and, and driven by our all-new Transit, which has been phenomenally successful in a very short window of time. Can you all tell me all about the sales success of the Transit? Yeah, so um, so when we came to market, obviously we maintained our E-Series on the, the incompletes, the cutaways and the chassis cabs, and then we brought in a full line of, of Transits in behind it. And I think it's, it's really a function of a product that offers uh, the capability, the flexibility the customer needs with the multiple roof heights, the multiple engines, the different uh, wheel, uh, wheel axle lengths. And, and so when you put all that together, there's really not a vocational need that is out in the market that we can't meet and meet it with a product that's spot on to the, to the desire of the customer. And I think that more than anything is why we've been so successful so quickly. Okay, I mean, proving the results, sounds like this January you've had real impressive yeah, numbers. Yeah, so, uh, so in the month of, uh, we just finished February sales yeah. and, and our transit sales were up 70% versus last February. Wow. And for the first two months of the year, we we're up 60%. So we're off and running um, and uh, really excited about what the, you know, how high is high and how good can this product really be for us. Okay, but it sounds like you're still investing in the E-Series at the same time. Yeah, we are. Um, you know, where, where the transit capability kind of ends in, term, you know, in terms of GVW, that's where our E-Series picks up and has been there for a long time. And uh, so later this year, uh, when we bring to the 2017 to market, we'll mm -hmm. have an all new uh, V8 engine offering there. The 5.4 went away and we've got a proven 6.2 liter V8 that we are going to put into our um, uh, E-Series product along with our 6.8 liter V10, which has been just a absolute uh, stalwart for us in terms of powertrain offering. So, Do you think yeah. there'll be a, a dominant force in the marketplace then with that engine it offering? It is. I mean, the E-Series is, is another product that we, uh, that we, again, have had for a long time. We have mm -hmm. loyal customers in that space. And again, most importantly, it's, it's, it's um, serving that vocational needs that, you know, start around 11,000 pounds and work up to almost 15,000. So that's where the E-Series fits in in our lineup. Okay, and let's switch over to Super Duties because it seems like that's a really hotly contested market right now. Everybody's coming right. out with new products in that marketplace. It is, it is, and, and the neat thing for us, kind of like the vans, uh, we're we're operating from a position of strength. We've got a we've got a dominant market share position in the commercial uh, sector with with Super Duty, and uh, tonight, as you heard, we we're talking a lot about the the one that's right around the corner, the 2017 Super Duty, yes. where we integrate our high strength aluminum. Uh, into the vehicle, high strength steel into the frame, and deliver the customer a tremendous amount of uh, uplift in terms of capability. Okay, it sounds like you have like a fully boxed frame on the pickup version. And right, you know, of course, right. you have a chassis cab version as right. well. Right, and so the fully boxed frame goes the length of the cab on the on the chassis only because the upfitter community wants yes. to have that C channel so that they can build their upfits, you know, efficiently on the back end of the chassis cab. Okay, and it's building on the success of the F-150, and it's military yeah so that's right and uh, that's what's really neat about it is we we you know we came to market with our 2015 f-150 mm -hmm. it was all new uh, high strength military grade aluminum alloy mm -hmm. and uh, the market acceptance has been tremendous um, and so we're kind of you know we've 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 tested uh, the market acceptance around aluminum and now it's really a natural progression for us with super duty and again like f-150 weight savings Different than F-150, however, uh, a good portion of that weight savings has been reinvested back into the into the under chassis of the vehicle to make it more capable.